how to create a content locker on the OG ad website. So guys, this, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a content locker on your OG ad website. So guys, the first step right here will be to go onto any browser of your choice and simply type on uh, OG ads, OG ad website. Then once I click on that, a page such as this should load up and I'm just going to click on this first option right here, which is the OGads.com and I'm just going to wait for that to load. So guys, as you can see right here, we brought to the home page of the OG ad website and if you don't have an account right here, you're just going to click on the sign up option, register and create your OG ad account. But if you already have an account, I just kind of click on, I don't like to click on login, then log in my account, then I'll be brought to the home page of my website, of my OG ad account right here. So guys, this is the home page of my OG ad account. So guys, the next step will be to go on to your tools right here and click on the content locker option. Once I click on this, I'm, it's just going to take me to this page right here where I'm going to create my OG ad content locker so guys as you can see right here i'm just going to put in the name of my og ad of the content locker which should be tutorial tutorial video then i'm just going to add in any notes of my choice as you can see right here i'm just going to put in the load method either on load or the javascript so right here the unload is going to appear after the page is loaded up the, like, the content locker is going to appear after the page has been loaded why the java for the javascript the content locker appears when the javascript function is called so as you can see right here this is the delay option which indicates the number of seconds to delay before showing up the locker as you can see zero seconds here does not actually indicate zero seconds here does not actually um impute a delay to um, when your content locker is going to pop up on going to the website as you can see right here this is the action the unlock action the redirect url if you are using a url a redirect url so you just leave it on this um redirect here but if you don't use a url or if you are not in need of a url you're just going to click on remove locker and that option right here will be gone but if i go back to my redirect i can simply have the option to put in my redirect url right here so guys i'm just going to click on remove simply scroll up and go on to the advanced section you can see the advanced section here the first option right here is the conversation required that is the number of conversation required to unlock the locker I, i'm just going to leave this on one the prayer threshold i'm just going to leave that and go on to the access time that is the amount of time the locker will be unlocked for so as you can see right here it's on 60 minutes you can simply increase your time or reduce your time so you're going to fill that based on your preference then i'm going to go on to the desktop specific guys for desktop users when they use your content locker this is for the desktop users how it's going to appear to them you can simply come here change the theme for your desktop users and simply change the theme to any one of your choice you can see right here the preview page the theme has been changed you can simply go back here change it again to the facebook theme and just wait for it to load as you can see the the preview here shows me how the content blocker is going to look like so here you can see the desktop title i'm just i can simply edit this and it will be it will be changed right here as you can see the desktop description and once i edit this unlocking we allow access to premium content this is going to change right here so let me just show you how it is um let me just simply put this to unlock now or something else unlock now then i'm just simply going to wait then now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna preview this so 
So guys, you can see right here, it has been changed already to the unlock now as I change it here. So now the next um, option right here is the desktop offer type sort. That means I am the pretty preference or your scale of preference, how you choose your priority. As you can see right here, it's already on the CPI, followed by the CPA and the PIN submit prioritized equally. So each and every one of them is prioritized equally. But you can prioritize one of them first before another. You can decide to prioritize your CPI and then your CPA, then the PIN. Any any option which you decide to choose right from right here, you can decide to do that. Then go on to your maximum offer. You can simply increase this or reduce this. So I'm just going to reduce this to four, and it's going to change right here on my preview page. Once I reduce, as you can see right here, it has been reduced. As you can see, the customized um, desktop team, you can simply change that then go back up to the mobile specific. Those are for specified for mobile users. You can change the theme as it did in the desktop specific, the mobile type to the mobile description, mobile offer type sort, or how you intend on prioritizing your, your stuff right here, then the maximum offers and your theme. Then once you are done, guys, you can just simply click on create a locker and create locker. And once you click on that, I think your locker will be automatically created, and you can access it right from your home page by going by going on to your tools and the content lockers. Then you can be able to see your locker. So that that is it for this video. That how to create a content locker on the OG ad website. So guys, if this video is actually helpful to you, don't forget to smash the like button to this video, subscribe to this channel, and also ensure your post notification is always done and all. So thank you guys for watching this video, and goodbye.